Hey everyone, have a here been a video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, it is time for another edition of Best Teams on Global. This is the October 2024 edition. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Well, let's go ahead and dive right in. So a little bit earlier than usual, but of course we end up getting a lot of updates right after or really at the end of the Warai celebration. And we of course got the new Dokkan Festival exclusive in terms of the Dirty Fireworks Vegeta, but uh, got a lot of other things along with that. Uh, I think that made a quite of an impact in terms of the best team. So let's go ahead, before I dive all in, let's go ahead and, and start with the disclaimer of the term best teams is my opinion is purely subjective. There's no official tier list or best teams rankings from Akasuke or Bandai. I look at a multitude of different teams when I build best teams here, leader skill, damage defense, special skills, flex and bench strength, game mode effectiveness, and overall gameplay. Uh, gotta have good strong first position units here, defensive and offensive in the second position and flex. I do run a support on here, but of course I always mention you don't have to run a support. You can run one of the alts in that support spot if you don't want to run a support and you want to run more of a defensive unit uh, on that third spot. So let's talk about last month's, last month's best teams here. This was the grouping here. I would say the changes that were made this month is more in, in, in terms of the top portion versus the bottom portion uh, of it all because I think you know the top uh, really got a few you know a few strong upgrades that made some movement uh, at least in the top six in the top seven so let's go ahead and dive in to the top 10 list here I'm going to try to make this a lot faster because uh, again this is a earlier top 10 list versus uh, waiting until the part 2 LR comes out which I don't think is going to be over overly significant but the first thing I want to talk about here is the number 10 sort of 10 B all right so this is actually my first 180 percent team that I've ever added into the top 10 list here even though I did put a little asterisk here as, a, as 10B, um, running at 180% is still very strong, but generally a lot of the other units that go along with the team isn't as strong unless you're running the EZA LR Super Gogeta. It's pretty incredible, as you can see here. You get to run Beast Gohan, you can run LRGGT, you have some strong floaters, a strong support, uh, as well as a decent amount of alternate units that you can run, uh, making this team a very, very strong team. I thought I, I thought I was going to just at least give this a outright uh, number ten spot, uh, or even moving into the number nine spot. But I think running at 180, it's it's detriment. Even though it's running just the top tier units on here, I do have to give uh, the flexibility not as strong as maybe some other teams. But uh, yeah, very strong team. Easily can be argued uh, higher than the number 10 spot. But I just you know had it had to put them on here. I was gonna do like a honorable mention, but I think it deserved a 10B spot. Now what did you know overtake this team in the in the 10a spot or just a 10th spot here and i'm gonna stick with the majin buu saga right so i think the majin buu saga has a better bench strength um it has uh, i think capabilities uh that the uh, super gogeta uh, team does not have uh along with some leader flexibility here with the um with the int uh, fat boo here um you can run a multi multitude of different teams so very slightly right very slightly i did put them in the traditional 10 spot versus the 10 you know b spot here or even put them out of the top 10 spot but this definitely can be argued like you know which one is a better overall team i think standalone this is a better team here but with all the criteria that i talk about i think i'm just going to put majin buu saga slightly higher than the super gogeta team so coming in at 10 b super gogeta coming in at 10 is still the majin buu saga so all right moving on to the number nine spot again still holding its its spot here it did not get a huge upgrade it got a slight upgrade in terms of being able to run the dirty fireworks vegeta on this team here so it does have that capability of running this team but uh, it doesn't synchronize well because it's not going to link up at all with the big bang vegeta 
Um, now I wish the Big Bang of Vegeta was Super Saiyan, uh, start off not a transformation based form Vegeta. Uh, if I knew that we're going to get a dirty fireworks Vegeta in the future, that's going to be base form as well. So uh, this is a team that you can run here that's going to be encompassed with super class units, or you can run a more of an extreme class team. Of course, the um, the Int Super Saiyan Blue um evolution vegeta he is a super class unit everybody else on this team is extreme class so you can run you know any variation of the two uh however you're generally going to put the um the big bang vegeta in the first position and uh this does have a quite a good uh support unit in king vegeta so come in number nine didn't change spots here again it didn't get any like a lot better or any worse uh, I think in terms of uh, the, 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 the nine spot, it stays at the num number nine spot. Same with the number eight spot. No change here, even though it got, in a sense, an upgrade. But the problem with this team is Gaku, right? Gaku is uh, a, a much weaker unit than he used to be when he first uh, w arrived. A very older unit now. But, of course, you still have to run him as the leader. He's the best leader with Pure Saiyans, Hybrid Saiyans. Um, and you did get an upgrade with Super Gogeta. However, the support units on this team is, is really almost non-existent. So you're more, more or less going to run a team that looks something like this, which is very strong, except for Gaku, right? He is orb sensitive. You got to make sure you get enough orbs for him um, to survive. And, of course, the transformations for that Broly. You can run one extreme class unit on this team, uh, but preferably you want to run a full super class team you know just just in case there's some you know, there's some issues here but i do like running this team with the with the um kamehameha family kamehameha gohan more so than the broly anyway um because you now have two strong first position units that you can run on this team here in terms of uh beast gohan and super gogeta yeah you, you're able to run um, MUI Goku and Evolution Vegeta in a second rotation here as well, but I do like the other Go uh, the Super Gogeta as a better unit there, especially when he transforms, right? That's uh, that's where he becomes really, really, really strong. So, um, Ben Strength of here, of course, is top notch, probably one of the better Ben Strengths in the game in Pure Saiyans and Hybrid Saiyans, so uh, you can't fault that. That's why the reason why, even though he does have a weaker leader in Gaku, he's staying in the number eight spot. So now here's where things get a little bit different, all right? So some teams moved down, some teams moved up. Um, so come in at number seven, all right? So for me, seven, six, and five have the same problem when I'm playing with the team, uh, or the same major pl problem. However, all three of the teams are extremely, extremely good. So in this case, we're using Super Bosses with the uh, nine year anniversary Broly on here. And of course you're bringing all the Worldwide Celebration Broly's uh, on this team. And in this case, for a semi support unit, you're running the um, uh, Chile Lemo and, and Broly there. So the nice thing too is we do have a boost in Janemba. So the EZA Janemba is now a slot one or two unit on here. Um, and you can, in a sense, remove Cell Max from here, opening up the other characters that you can run. Because generally, if you're running uh, Cell Max, you can't run a lot of other units because um, you know you're not running. Uh, you're running all movie bosses and not super bosses. Uh, to activate his his passive so you just do have to watch out when you do that now interesting thing enough you can actually still run um uh run here uh cell max right so you can do something like this or you can even move this unit down here for the time being until he transforms and you can run first position and then janemba kind of works be best in second position because he gets both uh you know both buffs that way so it might look something oh what's what's going on here there we go. Looks something like this. And this team is just absolutely fantastic. But the biggest problem, and I have one more here, you can run a super class team if you like to do that. But here's the biggest problem with, again, we're going to talk about this in the number seven spot, the number six spot, and the number five spot here, is the leader in of itself. So the biggest detriment, and I've said this many a times, is that we have um, the AGL Broly. You could only do domain one at a time and you're not able to then activate the other one until the other one has been diminished. So one of these Broly's isn't going to transform and they are a liability to the team, all right? So that is definitely problematic 
uh, to their overall team in of itself. That's why you do have them here at the number seven spot. But still, it is overall a uh, a very, very strong team. If you uh, aren't going to get unlucky and have your third position floater, A.J. Broly, get absolutely demolished, uh, everybody else is is top notch. So coming in at number seven is Super Bosses, which I believe dropped down from the from the fifth spot. So uh, moving on to then uh, probably a big surprise for a lot of people, the number six spot here, and that's Universal Survivor Saga. So this team here really didn't get any boost except for LRGGT, uh, and that's going to be running at 170. So uh, for me, again, same issue. But less of an issue because uh, Goku can, uh, uh, UI Goku can still, you know, dodge uh, really well and does not technically need um, the transformation, even though, yeah, you do weaken over time. Uh, and that is a problem on there. And, and once you transform, though, right, then, then this team is very, very strong. Um, but again, the other UI Goku is kind of just sitting there until the uh you know the other the availability of it, it transforming by by the time that the the, the match is probably going to be uh completed by then so anyway i think i'm rambling on here a lot of people say hey well how come you're not you know showcasing representative universe 7 here here they are right here here's representative universe 7 uh but they're still in the number six spot so dropping below number five uh, i think they were number four before so dropping two spots down just like the the broly so what took its spot so in my opinion I think Kamehameha is now better than than uh, Universal Survivor Saga, given that we got the huge upgrade here with LR Super Gogeta, the EZA Super Gogeta here, uh, moving into that first position, which was kind of weak, right? Just having, I don't say a dodge or die, but uh, with Tech UI Goku, he's, you know, I, I, you know until he transforms, I, I prefer him to be as a floater or second position. So in this case, he's now a floater now, not in main rotation, MUI Goku, Think does a little bit better um, uh, a chance on there but of course you can still run the boys easy a boys in first position if you like so you do have a lot of options here in terms of kamehameha in my opinion over universal survival saga right they're close but i'm just going to give the edge to kamehameha here because again once you transform right the upside to this team is way better than the upside for the Universal Survivor Saga, right? Because generally you just have that one transformation for the time being and then you're pretty much done. You could go standby with the uh, LRGGT as well. Uh, and of course you do standby with the Gammas, which uh, uh, which is which of course is fine. In this case scenario, you have the LRGGT as a support unit, which is pretty wild. And then when you transform, they're just, just absolutely amazing. But again, you only can run standby with the same character once, um, and that becomes problematic there. Uh, and then the diversity of this team is very good here too, is because you can run the AGL Super Saiyan uh, 3 uh, Goku on here in first position as well. So I, I think this just got a big upgrade that was good enough for it to move on to the number five spot from number seven. So uh, Universal Survivor Saga and the um super super bosses dropped two spots and then kamehameha moved up two spots into the top five here which then makes what's number four i think here number four makes sense because again a big upgrade here is now movie heroes now the difference with with this team versus the kamehameha team the universal survivor saga team and the um, super bosses team is the leader gogeta here doesn't have a problem with limitations on um, on transforming so he can transform when he needs to transform uh, without having saying you have to wait for the other one to uh, be done with domain or be done with standby right so easy transformation in terms of that plus again you're running the top tier units on here beast gohan command command family command gohan now the super gogeta easy a and lrgt here amazing you don't even have to run the support there you can run someone else and be fine you can run you know lrop you can run the boys on this team just absolutely fire and then again transformed Whew. transformed how are you gonna die seriously how are you gonna die here once transformed so um you can go standby uh, with the um LRGGT here and give you even more defensive support uh, on that. It's this is just an incredible, incredible team. Uh, they're just keeping movie heroes alive, and he movie heroes have been very relevant for a very long time, uh, even much more so now being the number fourth team on global. Um, pretty wild here. So coming in number th uh, coming in number four is movie heroes with 
uh, Gogeta Blue. So coming in number three is going to be the Shocker. This is the Shocker because I've had this team at number one for a very long time. And finally, it edges out. Again, I would say three, two, and one. They're all interchangeable. But as of this moment, as of October 2024, I'd finally move Beast Gohan down from number one spot to the number three spot. Another reason, uh, one reason why is this team has not gotten any upgrades since the anniversary. It did not get anything from Worldwide Celebration. It did not get anything from the end of El- uh, the EX, you can call it, with the Gogeta and the Janemba or the current Dokkan Festival exclusive, right? It is all straight up uh, was the best team and then just did not get any upgrades. And now it's at the third team, but still arguable to be on the on the first team here. Uh, great, great bench strength. Um, but I would say not as not as good on the top end like it's like super good where it's at right now it doesn't get that much better right you do have standby with the gammas and you build that out you do have the the tech ui go to go mui go and go to blue on here however uh it is still semi-limited comparable to the first two teams because the the top end of the first two teams i think is better than this team here but again by a very very smart margin so the crown of best team did not last for that long because nine year anniversary only came out in July. So it had a, you know, a three month reign here, but a three month reign without any uh, boost to it. It should still be proud of itself being in the number three spot. So coming to number three, Beast Gohan finally loses his crown uh, after three months of domination. Let's go ahead and now move on to the number two spot here. And of course, I have to put the movie bosses Broly team in number two. The Janemba freed up the issue that I had with this team here because you're like, okay, do I want to run a, um, a free-to-play unit instead of a support Turles on here? Do I run like uh, Herudogarn on here? Uh, you know, Bio Broly? Like, what, what do I run here if I don't have this particular unit? So the bench strength was very difficult to say, okay, what do I need to do? But with Janemba now, it opens up the whole thing here and he actually works the best on this team because he works best in second position and then once you transform this is the wild thing about this team once you transform look at this ridiculous team look at this ridiculous team once you transform right you got legendary super saiyan broly everywhere right and uh you know we got full power broly there in the domain to help you know help benefit there just in case right you need to transform into a giant form janemba gives you that opportunity there as well right and then cell max is a floater on here i don't even know why i have him as as a support that doesn't make any sense uh, he's not a support unit let me remove that support highlight there but this is just absolutely beastly um and you're just not gonna die right so this opens up a lot of different options here of course you could move uh, move positions here you could put the turlis team turlis back in that position without your janemba so you now you have a versatility which this team did not have prior to just having janemba janemba was the missing piece uh to this team that surpassed just slightly but surpassed enough having enough flexibility in uh in going into the number two spot so whether or not you like beast gohan still at number two or number one i understand but i am now going to put the movie bosses category especially this team right here just a monster beast team here at the number two spot so what then beats this team here well this one is a standalone beast right um um flexibility is is okay comparable to everything else but much better than it was before Let's talk about full flexibility here. Number one team now. Oops. Oh, sorry. Forgot to mention. Not this team. This is not number one. I did merge the Int Legendary Super Saiyan Broly Uncontrollable Power Revenge Planetary Destruction as the number two spot. So, um, so keep that in mind. I I um, I did uh, make sure that you uh, we switched that up uh, on here, and uh, and then I just moved I moved uh, and combined these two together. So for, sorry about that. Number one, you should know by now because what's left? Well, it's LRGGT. So all our struggle Super Saiyans, Power Wishes, primarily Super Saiyans and Power Wishes on here. This team's just fantastic. It needed that first position, uh, you know, in a sense tank that transforms into just an unstoppable unit in Super Gogeta. Now you have that unit on here, 
right? You have then when you transform and you go standby here, boom. Oh, by the way, you can, instead of running a support, I said, you know what, why not uh, you know, have more damage output and run uh, the boys on here so you can run double support. Actually, this is quadruple support when if you add and include GGTs uh, on here. Uh, you can run something like this, but look at when you transform. Look at this nonsense, right? You got Super Gogeta, you got uh, Family Kamehameha on there. Uh, you're moving Evolution Vegeta down below as a floater, uh, and then you can even run standby LRGGT uh, in Miracle Goku Punch uh, Goku here as well as another option. Just absolutely wild, absolutely so strong here. But again, they're very close. They're a number two spot, but now getting the G, uh, the um, Super Gogeta, the EZA Super Gogeta, now you got something going here. You can even run a quintuple support <laughs> team on here, which is absolutely wild. But man, yeah, this this team here is right now my favorite team to run. Uh, I think it's the best team currently right now in the game, or at least on global that is. And uh, but again, I think number one, number two, number three, it's interchangeable. You can pick a different uh, team on any given day. I think those. Uh, uh, round out the top three so quick summary here number 10 b super gogeta number 10 then is uh, majin majibu sagas holding true in the number 10 spot they might they might go away um they might go away next next month right they might go away next month um by, by the way for those who wanted to know where the new um the new Vegeta was, I was thinking about replacing them, but it just didn't have enough synergy for me, even though it did run a, a bunch of Broly's and the current Vegeta on here. I, I they're, they're, they're like 11, 12. They're right there. They, they could have, you know, jumped in. I probably should have did an honorable mention for the, uh, dirty fireworks Vegeta. But, uh, anyway, so, so till 10, nine and eight, I think could be switched around. Right. So number nine is, uh, more or less Super Saiyans, but with more of Vegeta's family. Then you have uh, Pure Saiyans, Hybrid Saiyans with Gaku there. Then I would say 7, 6, and 5 is a little bit more interchangeable, right? With the um, Super Bosses, with Universal's Virus Saga, maybe big surprise here, uh, out of the top 5. Then you have Family Kamehameha. Then I think the strong number 4 spot here, the anchor in number 4 spot here, is Movie Heroes with uh, Gogeta Blue. Then I think the interchangeable one, two, and three come in number three for the first time, not in the number one spot. Superheroes. Then you have movie bosses with the uh, with the uh, with the Broly, with the Carnival Broly, and then LRGGT and Super Saiyans, Power of Wishes, and All Out Struggle coming in at the number one spot. Man, that that diversity and that that number one spot now holding true with the Easy Egg Gogeta really really upgraded them. So. There you have it. Agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comment section below if you um, if you have any thoughts. Again, I love to hear uh, what I messed up on because I usually mess up on something. So feel free to make comments about that. And then, of course, your thoughts on these teams overall. So with that, if you are new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on doconing. We'll catch you next time. Later.